viewers, welcome to another edition of AfroZone live here on iAfrica SL on our Facebook and YouTube channel, also on the website on www.iafricasl.com. I'm your host, Ambassador Bash, and in the program, you have other editions like the Innovation Corner with Ibrahim Kano and also the Street Float, Peter Murray Tarawali. And today, I'll be talking to um, David Simbo, one of Sierra Leone's amazing football star, humanitarian, and someone that's very, very smooth and quiet in talking. Don't go nowhere. I'll be right back after the message from our sponsors. So welcome back. We are here at this amazing facility, Kinney's Hotel, courtesy of the CEO and founder, Val, of Kinney's Empire. And I have the honor now to talk to David Simbo. Proof, happy to get you on the AfroZone. Um, thank you very much, my brother, Bash. And um, first of all, I just want to say it's my pleasure to be here. Mm -hmm. And I just want to say good afternoon to every listener. home and abroad. Okay. So thank you once more. Uh, it's a pleasure to get you in our honor for Sidon with, um, with Proof. You know, you're a very big icon in terms of football in Sierra Leone. You know, thank you so much for all that you do for this nation. It's my pleasure, bro, and thanks for having me as well. All right. Was football part of the plan? Because uh, I know where the gap up, everybody gets a own aspiration in life. So people will tell you, so, okay, then I talk man from way small, we know you're going to become a lawyer or a media person. But if you're not football, they will tell you, so, this is good, let's continue to play ball. Football be the part of the plan or just happen along the way? Well, I think so, definitely, but um, we will just continue in Korea then. So yeah, okay. everybody, and I mean, yeah. we learn mango before on the yeah. summit, we try for talk. But definitely, when we, we maybe they grow up as a, as a kid, you know, and uh, definitely, man, I, I, I go to school and then I don't want to say at the, at the starting point, football not to be part of the plan because, okay. you know, during in 10 and day, I don't think, say, football not be anything where we pay against them, but they see it as something beneficial, you know. Yeah. So I think uh, every parent in 10 and day, we want them to pick for go to school and become mm -hmm. uh, our doctor in the yeah. future, you know. But uh, as things start going, you know, um, at a point in time, you know, the situation just change, you know. And mm -hmm. then, I mean, someone just get for, I mean, convert to USA, you see, I mean, something that comes. So that was actually how everything started. But mm. starting point, um, football was not part of the plan at the, at the start. So what happened to the game plan? Um, so they, <laughs> they, no, 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 today. Yeah, because yeah. they hardly interview you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the dream plan, the dream plan purposely was to, to, to go to school and uh, because when well, they come up, you know, um, my family way about, you know, you don't get your big one with the head of you don't go to school and, you know, get a job, you know. So the intention was not for follow footsteps, you know. Mm -hmm. Instead of one for I mean if my mama wally go to school, if papa wally go to school, you know it I mean. Because back then, I mean nobody know really think about football. After the breakaway of Mamel Kalo nine mm -hmm. people and begin to think about football. Yeah. So before then everybody wants the beginning of a go to school. So I mean my mama go to go to school and then become somebody else maybe if I want for become doctor or like. it depends on which I will take in the, mm -hmm. the in the future. So okay. yeah, but on the long way then I mean, you know, it was a destiny and so okay. I came up so I followed the other side. All right. well, well, your football ability. Tell you say a symbol you will play ball play. Ah uh, well then this actually starts from my school and then uh, actually me like I say I've gone up towards the, the central community part around the secular road, main street, yeah. Panemba Road. So I'll be they actually attend a uh, small boy that they attend Christ Church Primary School. Okay. And then um uh, which I want to say main so rest in peace um let um Gaddafi, you know okay. him, Gaddafi. Yeah, yeah, Gaddafi yeah. And so the younger brother of Gaddafi, uh, Mr. Kamara Nagefi, yeah. also okay. Nagefi to okay. the Sierra Leone Premier League. Yeah. So by then, he he be me me PhD teacher who be go primary okay. school. Uh. So at a point then turn and they where the 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 junior primary school league be the play. Yeah. 
So the junior primary school leading thing, and they get a very, very good, I mean, what's it, momentum, you mm -hmm. know. So there was this actually, um, our focus on Derby March between yeah. Christ Church Primary School and St. Edward's Primary School. Yeah. So it was something like secular route to Fourth Street. Mm -hmm. So, and by then you have the, the likes of Paris School and some yeah. other top, um, I mean, junior players, then mm -hmm. by then nobody goes to St. Edward's Primary School. And then me, became a big boy, I want to be goalkeeper by then. Yeah. So in the go Christ Church as well. So in the day, like, in the class six, we may be the class four. So there is this particular time when they say, anybody who want to play for the school, for gonna, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, Blackfield, who yeah. said the UMass secondary school be mm -hmm. there. So now that will be the get we, we, we training session. So one day I just pump up with my big brother and they go myself join and go play. So during that process, then Mr. Kamara began to support me mm -hmm. and say, um, okay, I think say you're good and you say for be part of the school league. But by then I'll be the class four and maybe senior brothers that were the likes of Emma's and then, yeah. then be the class six. Okay. So by then I actually go there and then from that particular day they are trained with the school team and then Mr. Kamara, when I was free, began for sports and that's how everything started. You worked. What about secondary school? You still continue the football career? Yeah, I did. So mm -hmm. from the primary school league where I started to play for me, me from Christchurch, and then from that particular time, everything starts rolling. I start from see myself into the football arena by then. Okay. So by the time when I break to secondary school, and it was just like a continuity because then, I actually, then ten in the when I sit me my NPS exam, um, I want to go Edwards, you know, because then ten in the way you go to school yeah. and uh, everybody want to go Edwards. You feel like say you know we don't get it past history like mm -hmm. every other footballer, every other people they come from. Edwards, yeah, for sure. So I want to go this way. So I sit for Saint Edwards. But it was unfortunate and nobody would get the mark for go Edwards. Okay. You know, it, I mean, after my, my NPS exam. So then I began for go um, model secondary mm -hmm. school yeah. for start. And then I'll go to model secondary school and then um, and not you know they get so many football players then yeah. from these schools then mm -hmm. because everybody wants to play football, want for go to the Edwards, yeah. the likes of the other collegiate. You yeah. know. So I actually start a model. So where I go model secondary school and then we get the inter secondary school um, and yeah, school league again yeah. and then it was the same thing, and then get for invite everybody want for take part for mm -hmm. the for the school team. Yeah, for for get, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Then I joined in again, and then the PhD teacher by then we get one Mr. Johnson. Mm -hmm. So we go, and then we get for sports me, and then so for model secondary school I become the captain yeah. for the model um, school team, and then playing against the the, the big schools with all these big. And I see your performance and all. And then so I have I bet by then I go more than I was start to begin play the school team, the school league. I get like other four secondary schools then we want for <laughs> it's going to get, yeah, get me away from one year without like avocal and it's not really like transfer or whatever okay. you know, intentionally the one for grab me away and straight off you know they will pay school fee again and we'll take care of everything else that's the thing so so it was difficult for left model and then because everybody and the school teaches them and the principal by the way became mr brown so it was like this is not the only post we get for put model school to that level. So yeah. it was actually difficult for left model and mm -hmm. So even when Saint said what, they come and collegiate and who kill and all these other school. But the principal by then, Mr. Brown, you know, you know, allow me for left because by then he start for pay for me school fees, start mm -hmm. for give me loan. So then start for keep me for hold me down na the na the na the school because mm -hmm. and then they don't feel like say you understand, you know, me not the only post we go able for lead, you know, the model secondary school. Okay. So it was eventually how everything started. Oh. So, football after school, here comes uh, Mighty Blackpool. You know, Mighty Blackpool Lenten and they, it's something big. I know we send it and get them floors, but they don't all up back. But back then, if you see Blackpool, now the order of the day, you know, the, the honor and respect for Blackpool give you as a young man. So, what's more, Timbo Yeah, that's uh, definitely going to be amazing, um, amazing experience for me because, you know, better on for say, uh, as one young man when they come up, yeah. you know. I come up in a family where I meet um, my mama or my papa or my sister or my household. Everybody they support Blackpool. Yeah. And by then, when myself come up, I follow suit. You know, me not be Blackpool supporter. You know. Mm -hmm. And then when I watch the likes of this, uh, the the the, the McFish, for example, you mm -hmm. know, some other big guys who be admire and my community also have they come up. Let me say the likes of maybe um Daniel Fode, you know, this yeah. um, junior band, you know, all these people and they were they come up. And then I feel like, you know, myself, I just want to play for this Blackpool club, you know, because basically when people, they talk about one of the oldest clubs, they yeah. mean, with good history, with and everything, you know. For me, I, I actually want to play. So when it was something, something very, very, whatever, say, it was very funny. And then I don't even know how I find myself in a Blackpool, but yeah. then it was, 
like um when when after the school league thing done and then i actually did it again with fc Calon. yeah so by then i will get somebody when you know coach ajina yeah, so I coach ajina by then i'll be the head coach of fc Calon. Mm -hmm. so we get a junior team mm -hmm. who will be the team with my fc Calon. so there was a uh, little for saying i will be then musa Calon by then then yeah. the word of mommy Calon. yeah we get for i mean break into feet and where you come off from malaysia or indonesia yeah. and then we get for can take over the coaching department from coach ajina but by then, now be the influence of Coach Arjuna why make maybe the UFC Calon. Okay. So when Coach Arjuna stopped for go to the FC yeah. Calon, he stopped stop for go to yeah. the yeah, UCA General. The UCA General. Mm. And then I wait a couple of weeks and then I began to join um, Mighty Blackpool. So where I joined Mighty Blackpool, and then it was the good thing for me by then. And on the 17th squad, we go to Finland 2003. Yeah. And um, the week when I joined Blackpool, um, Zingele was part of the under 17 team where they go to the to the World Cup. Mm -hmm. So Blackpool they look for immediate I mean replacement <laughs> understand? Yeah. So when I stepped to Blackpool, the first way I trained and then the the supporters them and the, the, the management, everybody start like, you know, it, I mean uh, this is not the right replacement to Because they look at uh, you intelligence and also you AL. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was good and then automatically they grab me and they want for make a sign and play. So it was for me. It was like what else? It's like a dream come true, yeah. you know. Because by then, then I realized the fact that where I go Blackpool, I not even get within in the corner or signing fee or contract mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. whatever, whatever. But the fact that they come to me and tell me, "Your master, we want team before for Blackpool." Mm -hmm. I was like, I just show us. And, and, and a family team. Family team so a few, a few things happen after Blackpool. You go Norway, and after Norway, you come Blackpool back. Yeah. Yes, what happened? So after the spell with Blackpool and then uh, I get an uh, opportunity for get an uh, agent, you know, and uh, by the name of Usman Sela, you know, I go nowhere and then uh, I think I went, I go nowhere like two or three occasions yeah. and then the first day I go nowhere and uh, I go to a club called Lino Slow and uh, me and Alfred Zagalo mm -hmm. together yeah. and then we get a very good try out but by then the coach we get for look, we say, uh, we get talent, we, can, we win a good football okay. team, but we now reach to the level where they look for, mm -hmm. so we get for comeback. So we come back to Masalun and get some training and we still get the second opportunity for go. We go back and we get the same result that you understand. Mm -hmm. We're still good, we can play, but I mean, we still need some things that we you know as a football player, what we need for him back on. So they could get for good some garden, we need for work on with physical ability and stuff yeah, like no. that. So we come back home and then, you know, by then it was so difficult because when you, have, when you get the opportunity for go overseas and you mm -hmm. come back home, people get for look at you and like say, you know, see yourself. Yeah. Because by then, I mean, everybody, they look for the opportunity so you don't go feel it together. Yeah. Yeah. But people don't look at it and say you feel it together. They don't look at the fact that if you go overseas, you don't need for camp. If the football is not right, then you for take another step. Whether you want to go seek asylum, whether you want to go do something else, but going to overseas and face it, now the only way down the way you go for transform your life. So when you get the opportunity for go, you know for come back now. And when you come back, um, so Blackpool embrace you back. Yeah, when you come back, <laughs> yeah, Blackpool embrace me. And some of me for they embrace me. But you still get people out there who not going for embrace you because they don't know what you they walk towards. I will tell you, say, son, I you go know when you come back. Come back family have all left for yeah, failed that thing. Yeah, yeah, wow. Yeah. I'll bring you back soon, but we'll talk about Sweden and later we'll end in Turkey. Okay. And I'll couch you back and tell you what happened on, the, on September 5th, 2010. When I change Kai Kamal for Lakers against Egypt, you remember? Yeah. You want one go? Of course. Okay. Definitely. Well, this is uh, the AfroZone live here on iAfrica SL TV on the YouTube and Facebook channel. Go for a quick break and come back to talk to David Symbol, the Sierra Leone international football player. Welcome back. You still watch Afro Zone and the broadcast live here from King's Empire. Many thanks to CEO Val and then all the channels, them Facebook, YouTube, and also the website. Very simple. Blackpool and movement come live in Sweden. Yeah, um, I think where you done then a salon and everything that happened, you know, and uh, 
I think uh, Sweden is one of the countries where, I mean, we, we as a Sierra Union or maybe people mm -hmm. who are responsible for football as well for actually, I mean, appreciate, you know, yeah, because, sure. I mean, uh, quite a lot of players, them Sierra Unions, they don't get the break away to, to, to Sweden, you know, and then they learn the give the opportunity for low showcase or show we talent them, you know. Mm -hmm. So I think, say, when I go to Sweden, I start for um, uh, a first division club called Mutala, yeah. and then I, I get a very good season with Mutala, mm -hmm. and then, um, but before me go to Mutala, there was a couple of Sierra Unions that we don't play for the club. Okay. So the likes of Ibrahim Kouma, yeah. you know, and Baggio, for example, okay. Alusain Kamara, yeah. And then they don't play and don't do well at this club, so the club gets so many trust into the Sierra Leone mm -hmm. players. Then, so when I go to Namutala and then I just continue the footsteps of waiting, my brother, that we don't do. So, I mean, I did a very good half season from the okay. division one, and then before the season end, I began to get, um, I mean, a club we call Charlie Boy, yeah. and then we this same club we don't buy somebody from Mutala when I Sierra Leone, when I went to Oman myself, yeah. so then buy myself from the division one team to the Premier League okay. in Sweden. So less than six months where I go to Mutala, so then buy me back from the same Mutala to Trelly Bob. Okay. So I began for go join Marcel, Ibrahim Koroma back wow. at the same club na na Sweden actually na Trelly Bob. So just the basic quotation yeah, no more. Yeah, basic, <laughs> basic quotation. So me and him began for play. I'm at the same club na Sweden, you know. And then from there, um, I think it was uh, a little bit difficult because where I go, yeah. it was hard. By then we get Swedish coach and we probably want for say um eighty percent or ninety percent by for the Sierra national team mm -hmm. that that anyway be everybody be playing in Sweden, mm -hmm. you know. And then so we get a Swedish coach and they play in Sweden and uh, but it was hard for me because where I go to Trelleborg in the Premier League, it was difficult for me for break two to the first eleven. Okay. So basically I better struggle with um not because I was not capable enough, mm -hmm. but because the coach be already got a formula with team we yeah. can play with all the mm -hmm. time. And then um, so there was a time where I remember say we, we, we national team coach, all of Martin be yeah. always the tell the coach hey, and but you know you need for play symbol because what kind of Africa is about 60 or 70,000 people is playing 90 minutes and but we cannot see that you know they get opportunity for play so they always they get the fight you know because yeah, you see no reason why the coach for the put me on a bench for the other Swedish it's kind best but it's not be happen so you try best to not be happen so I did it for a year and a half you know and then I began for ask for loan okay. the next season because I no one for sit on a bench again so I mm. won't forget to play in time so that's how I actually quit to early ball year and then I went so another division one side again because I've been need a playing time okay. called Boden like BKF Boden okay. in the north part of Sweden. Okay. okay. All right. So Saudi. And then yeah, from Sweden and then it was before before Saudi. It was <laughs> when I moved from Sweden to Sudan. Yeah. Okay. Then okay. okay. you come yes. So yeah, it was a whole different ton of thing because when you when you come up in Inter and you know, I mean I mean I think say every footballer wish or mm -hmm. whatever to play now in Europe, you know, and yeah. overseas. So. So I've, I've spent uh, actually like two and a half years, four years in Sweden, playing in Sweden. And then by then I get my agent when I Senegal, he's in Senegal, and call on And then so one, <laughs> one morning I just wake up and he tell me, say, and uh, you know, Simba, I get the offer for you. And then, you know, because I mean, they always complete with that one for like, you know. You can go say Sunday. Yeah, I want to <laughs> well, leave Sweden because okay. really, I mean, I know not find I'm interested anymore in stuff like that, you know. And then, so, but I was not expecting, I know they expect for car with, for move me from Europe. To Africa, to Africa yeah. because nobody know one for come to like Europe and one go back to Africa. Mm -hmm. You understand basically. So one morning I just wake and then he just called me say, okay, now I get this offer for you. You get for go um Sudan. So I was like, so what in the, when you say Sudan, I feel in a European country by then. So okay. I don't go to Google back and try for shut this country. <laughs> this. And I go and I did Google and shut. I see said this no one kind, you know. African country, you know, and to have read about the country, I know now one kind. By force, you're black, you do Sudan. I was like, and then I picked the phone and called him back. Man, come on, man. you joking or what? You know, I want to me from Sweden to go to Sudan. So I began to forget the very, I know, I mean, I was mad with him actually. And then he left me like that the day. So the next mm -hmm. day, he gave me a call back and okay. sent me some offer on my phone. Okay, this is not the offer with the club don't give you, you know, for this club in Sudan. Go back and read for this club, Alilal, you know. So, and then I go back, I take me to him, try to forget about the club, and then I watch the offer. You don't get an no option. And I don't get an no option, and I was like, you know, and um, yeah, but you know what I mean? And I just watch how many years I don't spend in Sweden, and I watch the, the, the offer well, again in Sudan, and I watch with it, they try to talk, and then I was like, okay, I'm going to take this adventure. But it was difficult to actually okay. take that adventure, you know, because people back home, be actually surprised why I want to leave Sweden and mm -hmm. go into Sudan. Because nobody know no, but, you know, um, Alila, nobody knows yeah. about you know. And you know, Mario Monica, you had to talk about your contract. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. It was it was difficult. People don't know, but me go back and get about Alila and see 
they are one of the um, five of the best African country mm. and African teams Instant, then where yeah. they take part of the African mm -hmm. Champions League and I see what you're waiting on, I see the project and everything and I see them, they get players and from Europe, it was not only me mm -hmm. and then I go for talk to my agency, okay, accept it while they go, so let them send everything so I, I now fly to, to Sudan and I fly to Sudan and then where you I play part? Yeah, I play my part okay. and then today I think it's one of the, 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 the country, I mean, one of the places mm -hmm. where like you always want to be grateful of I mean, I think say if I want to talk about my football career, yeah, I always going to be grateful value. about yeah. okay. Love put everything into one now, Saudi, Iraq and Turkey Yeah, and yeah, from Sudan I go to Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia was good, you know, and like I said, it was a good experience mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, with a different culture, you mm -hmm. know, and then um, it was actually hard for me for go to Saudi Arabia, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, to say you, you, I mean, not say this now, a whole Islamic yeah, kind of sure. country, yeah. you are Christian and something mm -hmm. like that. And then I, I went to Saudi, and then um, I was having a different, you know, different That's version yeah, about, sure. about, mm -hmm. about Saudi Arabia, you know. But where I went, where I go to Saudi Arabia it was completely different. Okay. When I up there, you people and military, when me say go to Saudi, you know, it was, you know, it was different. But I think I enjoy everything as, as well as Iraq and Turkey. Yeah, yeah I went. Uh, yeah, I okay. went again at Iraq. Iraq was it was unfortunately we're going to Iraq and mm -hmm. uh, a little bit was scared about yeah, the sure, you know. Yeah, and then because I mean when they pick me from the, the airport where I go and I see, see you know the steel checkpoint and mm -hmm. when they talk to the Iraqi people and tell me see some sudden the way they know the walls and yeah, everything. Uh, so I was, I was Salomon and tell him about bomb. You feel for Kamu Monte? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not big relax. <laughs> so I'm not big relax. So what about Turkey? And you know, Turkey was actually good for me because uh, from all these parts, when I go back to Belarus, that mm -hmm. was after Belarus I come to Turkey. Yeah. So I mean, I think say from Belarus and come to Turkey, and then uh, I mean, Turkey has also been a place I can. I can, I can and now you get you get news, so you not get for Turkey now. Yeah, no, I get news definitely. One to go. But you keep on for? Uh, maybe in the next one week, um, probably it's gonna come out. But now I just run for. Yeah, okay. Just run for. Uh, so we wrap up now. Um, quick one, get additional of a minute. Leonsters, um, like twenty caps. And that appearance when they pull Kai Kamara and bring you on September 5th, 2010, one of the famous um, draw, 1-1 uh, one -one with Egypt. And after that game, day, Nigeria self called we say, this is the team done good. Yeah. Amazing moment. Taking off Kai Kamara for Simbo. Your moment? Yeah, it was it was good moment. Definitely, it was good moment. And uh, I know then turn and everybody they look for, I mean, mm -hmm. for step into the national team after a yeah, whole lot of good um, players, yeah. them, you know, be they, be they go away, you know, mm -hmm. and then we don't learn from them a lot. And then... Definitely, it was it was it was different because me 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 me, me, me a defender. Okay. Me na de, me na defender and then changing a, a striker for me for kind of play as a right winger. It was something I mean difficult, but mm. automatically before the kind of to the game, I already know the game plan. Don't make up your mind. Don't make up my mind. So it was this kind of thing when the coach and just follow we play as a two right back or two def or two defender. Them you know. So it was it was good for me. I take instruction from the coach and then I can say and then I play my own part. I contribute and then I think say from that particular. So many games, like tw like twenty caps for yeah. national TV, it's yeah, huge. Yeah, yeah you I get know. a very rich TV. Yeah, I but know. you feel I'm winning over Afcon. Yeah, definitely, you know, because this mm -hmm. not the way. I felt mean, so bad. Be, yeah, I felt so bad. Because you didn't be in a Benin list or play Benin at the game on right because of COVID. But it's, because we've been in this plan for I mean a two decades. Yeah, you know, for sure. Um, I think for more break, when I break away to the national team, I've mm -hmm. been playing for the national team. I've never been a, as, a, as a substitute of mm -hmm. playing as a reserve player in the national team. Mm -hmm. I think I've played 90 minutes of each and every game I've actually represented yeah. Sierra Leone. And I think I've never done anything bad in terms of playing for Sierra Leone. Mm -hmm. But again, you know, after um, one and a half year or so with the COVID mm -hmm. and something, when mm -hmm. you're out of club and then when it's come, when it's situation like this, when you're out of club and you're left out of the national team, you just have to accept it and look forward to, I mean, to, to the future because exactly so in, in case ago. in case we decide we're going to we'll get the national team we all so if we call you back you can play no I'm, i never quit you know I, okay. I never quit you know but, um, you're just not fortunate for me to afcon the national team or for the afcon doesn't mean you you're not playing for the national okay. team anymore i never quit or i didn't say i'm i'm i'm, all, I'm, I'm i already quit no i'm still part of the national team you know whenever okay. i get the opportunity to come back you're it's going to be the same coach okay. it's going to be another coach it's going to be a change of management it doesn't matter so what is important for me it's I'm um, looking forward to where I want to go now and mm -hmm. looking forward to a club football, you know. I think it's important for me right now. I don't want to talk about Leon I just want okay. to talk about myself and the next move okay. and the future and the club I'm going to head for. That's you want of advice as we wrap up another symbol? Yeah, but, um, I just want to say um, it was actually, I know everybody's been, I mean, out there, you know, um, Chai and Leon Star and mm -hmm. stuff like that, you know. It was a good energy and uh, mm -hmm. I just want to say I uh, appreciate you, Leonians, then that we, we don't actually support my brothers and through the Afghan. Mm -hmm. You really just keep up the faith and everything, you know.
know. I think it's a, it's a lot of uh, we can see that it's a good potential and yeah. it's, uh, it's a brighter future um, ahead of the national team of civil unions they must hold. And I just want to say um, thanks to you again one, once more, Bashi, and thanks to the whole team. And uh, yeah. I do appreciate and mm -hmm. it was my pleasure to be here. I know, it's a pleasure to get you an interview. Where else you take interview? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, but uh, when... <laughs> don't say. I mean, you don't say, but when I get you a put it, yeah. me what I call me, definitely. I you have to show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I, and I appreciate the board out. Thank you. Okay. So that's all we were for, uh, for this other edition with uh, David Simbo, uh, Sierra Union international football player. I get a very big news and I hope you will take with two in career because you have to forget Simbo on an interview. So we'll get to make a point of beauty. Many thanks to the rest of the team for putting this wonderful um, content together. And uh, I know we'll end up with uh, the innovation corner with Ibrahim Kano as well as uh, the street flow with Peter Murray Tarali, who's happy to go for work on the main street and see and talk to people around about David Simbo. And uh, many thanks to Val, the city of Kingston for providing this wonderful space to us. And keep watching AfroZone and iAfrica channel on 2100 GMT, that's 9 p.m. on local time. Till then, get a wonderful weekend. Welcome to another edition of Afro Zone Street Flow. My name is Peter Mori Tarali, better known as 101 Skololo, still passing through. Today I'm in the hood of one of Sierra Leonean sensational footballers. He goes by the name David Simbo. Now I don't know David Simbo in hood, and they can interview somebody who know a little bit about David Simbo. And they send message to David Simbo. Well, hello, sir, how are you, sir? Hi, it's a good, thank you. Sir. Yeah. Thank you. What's your name, sir? I'm name Abu Fumi. Um, I don't know David Simbo in hood. And uh, you know, I'm the indigenous of this hoodie. I always see David Simbo from small. Say, don't turn where I don't be so delicate today. I'm going to make you send message to David Simbo. Oh, well, David Simbo, I know I'm personally we, we are Kenyan inside the 9th sea. I know I'm, I know I'm school ball. School ball, play football at Black Philia. So I'm from Black Philia. Play, 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 play. Say, he gets a good way to go over but in, 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 in football. Maybe one a nice guy. No, 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 you know, you know, you know, you know, get any bad issue with people them. Maybe people them talk, try to be with them. A good player, a good guy. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for having me. I am Peter Mori Tarawali, 101 Skololo. I'm out. Hello, everyone. This is your circle of innovation and entrepreneurship. I am Ibrahim Kanu. Our guest for today is one of our brilliant innovator, whose innovative work focuses on robotic, interior design technology, and smart furniture. And also, he's the CEO of Moinai Soya Limited. You are welcome, Mr. Moinai Bintoka. Yes, uh, how are you? So, Mr. Toka, it is unusual for young people within our society to focus on innovation. And you are among the few set of young people that choose this path. So why innovation? Uh, well, um, it is a pleasure to meet with you. And I've been into innovation since um, 2016, when I invented the first um, um, Tokyo robot in the country. You know, and um, after that, I thought it fit that I have to go to business. You know, because I cannot um, be sitting there waiting for somebody to sponsor me exactly. or looking forward to the government. The government have several issues to, to several problems to solve. So I see it that I have to go into business so that I can get some capital to push myself forward in the, every, every other thing that I would like to do in the future. So that is why I. I choose innovation. Yeah, I choose, I choose innovation and I'm now an entrepreneur. Okay. So, what is the best uh, innovation you have created so far? Uh, well, um, I have invented a talking robot, um, a, flying, a flying helicopter, helicopter that flew, you know, more than the normal height of, uh, of a pool, the height of a pool. And then, 
I have the tallest robot in the country, six feet some inches tall. You know, I have done several other little little electronics around, and then I have I have done uh, a, an, a gadget that I called uh, ESS for Fuabe College um, Examination Surveillance System. You know, and then um, I am into smart furniture as well. Right. Smart furniture and smart interior. Oh yeah. When you talk about uh, smart furniture, so what kind of uh, furniture are we talking about? Let me see that specific. Um, well, um, it is a general word as you see furniture. Well, we are capable of 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 creating or designing any furniture depends on how the customer wants it. You know. But uh, we normally advertise beds, like bed to bed. The bed to bed, we come with um, inbuilt bed lights, with a Bluetooth device, and uh, some other electronics okay. that will fit the customer or the individual that will want to lie on that particular bed. You know. All right. So, is there any point in time you felt that your innovative idea will not work? Uh, well, I have that confidence that. I will try to make things work. I have that confidence. Despite um, in this particular part of the world, for you to get certain things, certain uh, uh, equipment, for you to, to conclude your innovation, you need to order them. It is difficult to get them here, but in any in any area I find myself, I will try to look at the equipment around me trying to put them into what I want to build or what I want to invent. All right. We have now reached the end of our discussion. So, Mr. Tucker, if the audience wants to contact you, on which platform they will reach you? Well, I am on the, um, Facebook, on several um, um, social media platforms. On WhatsApp, you can contact me on uh, my mobile number 78 or uh, you can get me on Facebook at uh, Moinina Toka. Or uh, you can even get me on Instagram, Moinina Toka. Uh, my, li my LinkedIn, Moinina Toka. Uh, just use Moinina Toka in any other social media platform you will get me. Many thanks to our guests and the rest of the team. Till next week, I am Ibrahim Kanu.